Hey everybody, welcome to today's uh, video review. This is Rat, and you're in the Rat Shack. Today we're going to set up and uh, use the Testo 435-2. The 435 is a multi-function meter. does um, air velocity, temperature, humidity, a lot of things. Indoor air quality stuff even, uh, depending on the probe that you have set up uh, with the meter. Uh, this is the head unit. This is what I'll be calling the head unit. These are the probes. There's other probes that we'll see um, a little bit later on when we get into the airflow portion. But the first thing we're going to do is go into the uh, setup menu and we're going to show you how to map the probes. One of the things the 435 does is it'll calculate total BTU output of a system that you're working on in a relatively short amount of time. About two minutes actually is you know if the return error is in one location and it takes you two minutes to do a return air grill traverse then that's how long it takes to do the BTU calculation displays it right on the screen prints it out uh, you can staple it to your ticket or use it as a sales aid in explaining uh, what's going on with the system to your customer uh, in real time not only that but once you make changes to the system whether it's increasing or decreasing airflow cleaning the coil um, adjusting the refrigerant charge uh, if you take a baseline reading and then take a reading after you've made the changes, you can actually show the customer in BTUs and you can convert that to efficiency on uh, the changes you've made. You know, the money they just spent to have you work on their system did make a difference in the BTU output of what they, uh, you know, they got what they paid for, basically. It's a pretty powerful tool. It does a lot of things. Um, the directions, the instruction manual that comes with it is pretty weak and just from playing with this thing for about a, a year now, not quite a year this is something that goes on every job with me, it stays in my tool bag, the probes the temperature probes stay in my tool bag and uh, they, go, they go on every system uh, I don't necessarily take airflow on every single system but uh, if I'm doing a PM or if I have something that's uh, you know a little crazy like uh, crazy superheat numbers or something like that then I go ahead and, and throw the uh, anemometer on there and take an airflow reading so this is definitely a tool that's well worth the money and will pay for itself time and time and time again uh, and it's something that we should be checking on every system anyway airflow and, and capacity so uh, this tool just makes it easy and it's like I said it's expandable it's a kind of a modular based system there's about, I don't know, 50 or 60 different probes that go with this thing. A lot of them are temperature, different types of temperature. There's one that calculates R value of walls. There's indoor air quality. There's all kinds of different temperatures, uh, temperature probes. So uh, it just depends on where you want to take this instrument. It's, it's definitely worth having in the arsenal. Now, there's four variations of the 435 multifunction instrument. There's the 435-1, which is the basic instrument. It doesn't do, um, the, no software or anything comes with it. The 435-2, which is this unit right here, has the software and the cabling. Anyway, the next one is the 435-3, and it's everything that the 435-2 is, plus it's also a dual port manometer. And then, of course, there's the 435-4, which does uh, everything, and it'll make your espresso when you uh, take a break. So we're going to jump right into setting up the radio probes. Doing, let me go over the buttons first. Uh, the soft keys, as you can see, you have an up and a down arrow, and then you have these input keys. That the orange keys are based on what's on the screen here, similar to our cell phone. You have the buttons, and whatever they're labeled is what they do at that time for whatever mode you're in. Uh, and what I've done is I've taken the temperature probes I've already turned them on see the blue light blinking there and I've turned these on first and then I turn the 435 on and we're gonna map the uh, radio handles to the head unit and we do that using various inputs on the with the soft buttons as well as doing a, a quick search to find the probes and and actually naming them and addressing them based on their uh, radio frequency ID number which I'll show you where that is in just a few minutes so the first thing we do is we're gonna go into the deep menu so we're gonna hold the center button down until profile pros shows up so 
the middle soft key is the one I'm pressing here. It's this middle soft key right here, the middle orange key. And you just hold that thing down, press it once and, and you get uh, normal mode stuff, press it twice and you can get into what's called the deep menu and there's you know you have profile and language and probe and device and units and uh, this is where you do the uh, kind of the base programming for for what you're doing so what we're going to do is we're going to run down into the uh, probe menu so you can see I have it on probe and what we do is hit OK and then you have a choice radio controlled or TE type which is a thermistor type today we're going to map radio probes so we hit radio controlled we're going to hit OK and we have the testo will read up to three radio handles uh, we're only going to map two today so what we do is we P1 is probe one that stands for probe one and you have probe two and probe three now when the 435 calculates enthalpy to do the BTU calculation probe 1 has to be the return air probe and probe 2 has to be the supply air probe so what I've done on my probes is I've labeled them 1 and 2 so I always know which probe goes where uh, and they correspond to the screen that I'm looking at whether I'm doing a wet bulb delta T or a dry bulb delta T or if I'm outside doing condenser air delta T I always know which which probe is one and which probe is two without having to memorize the RFID number. So just know that probe one is the return air and probe two is a supply air. I've chosen to label mine one and two because that's what corresponds to the screen on the 435 but you could just as easily put uh, instead of a one on this one like I have you could put RA for return air or put one and return air then you can index both of them. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to choose P1. We hit the middle button for OK. And now, since we already had the probes on, the unit picks up both of the probes and records the RFID numbers. This number right here, 439L, corresponds to the RFID number that you can see right down here, 439 and each probe has a unique RFID number, an address if you will. And if your radio handles have the same ID number, say both of them are 439, you can give one of an L designation to uh, offset the address. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the up and down buttons to choose. As you can see the two probes I have, one is labeled RFID 413 Lima and the other one is labeled 439 Lima. So looking at my probes that I want, I'm looking at probe number one and the RFID right there is 413. So I'm going to choose 413 for my list and then I'm going to hit OK. And now probe one is loaded. And I'm going to do the same thing for probe two except probe two, the RFID is 439. So I'm going to bring 439 up and hit OK. And if I had a probe 3, I would do the same thing. You can also do manual. As you can see here, the actual probe number that I have programmed for 3 is 244 Lima, which is my other radio probe. And because it's not turned on, uh, I could just as easily do a manual input of the RFID number. I just hit the far left soft key where it says manual right here and I input you know L and then I would use the soft keys to input the RFID number that I'm looking at right on the handle and of course this one's already done so it's going to be the same number and then I hit OK. So now just to double check probe 1 is 413 hit OK. Probe 2 is 439. That's my choice. This is my actual. And probe 3 is 244. Again, my choice and this is my actual. 